A mission unlike any mission ever. A mission that involves the Samuni family and social enterprises based in Europe. The Samuni Intertrade Palestine mission. This mission is unlike any other that's preceded it. This is not a humanitarian aid mission, although it is guided by humanitarian principles. Our objective is not to bring in humanitarian aid alone. In fact, we're bringing in import items, items that can be used to develop the Palestinian economy. But importantly, we're not just bringing items in. We intend to bring our trucks and our vehicles in, and we will be exporting items out. So I'm here at our 18-ton Renault, getting a lot done with very little money. This is what separates this mission from any other. We intend to leave from London on July 2nd, traveling through many countries throughout Europe and ultimately to Turkey, at which point we will intend to take a ferry into Egypt. This is a social enterprise mission, meaning that this is not business in terms of how business is commonly understood. This is not about profits. This is about the effect that we can have through business models to actually affect positive social change. No one will get rich off of this project. The people, however, will be empowered by this project. Trade as opposed to aid. Generally, aid is brought in the aftermath of a natural disaster. If there's a hurricane or tornadoes, as we've seen in America recently, there is a deep and desperate need for aid. However, this situation here in Palestine is not a natural disaster, it's a man-made disaster. Politics and corruption have allowed the Palestinians to live over four years under a blockade situation. Under this blockade, the people are provided no opportunity to exercise the right of self-determination. Therefore, it is time now to end the charitable dependency status that Palestine has been relegated to and develop trade. Self-determination. It is impossible for a people to exercise the human right of self-determination without the ability to import and export. That is why this is so important, and it brings Europe into it. Aloha Palestine, one of the partners of this mission, is a European-based company. And that company is operating under the mandate of the Euro-Mediterranean Partnership. Under this agreement, there are partner countries with the European natures, nations, which includes Palestine, Israel, Turkey, Egypt. All of these countries are bound by this treaty, the Euro-Mediterranean Partnership. Under this agreement, Israel has done extremely well, doing about 25 billion euros a year in trade. Meanwhile, the Palestinians in Gaza have been relegated to practically no trade at all, again relegating them to a charitable dependency status. Europe is obligated under its own agreements at which it's doing trade with Israel to also afford the same rights to the Palestinians. And we will be operating as a European-based company that has every right to conduct trade with the Palestinians. If anyone stands in our way, then we can hold the Europeans liable for not following through on their obligations and we can take Europe from tacit consent with an illegal blockade to active participation in the blockade of Gaza. I do not think the European people want to be accused of that, but they will be if this convoy is interfered with. Cultural imperialism. Let us make no mistake that the West, the European nations, and America have used imperialist and colonialist means to exploit the people of the rest of the world, including the Arab people and the Palestinians. This mission is committed to fair trade so that the Palestinians that are producing these goods are given a fair wage for the work that they've done, that they deserve in order to live a dignified life. We will not perpetuate this continuing cycle of cultural imperialism in which the people of the world are being exploited by the West. Enough. Safe trade. We will not be trading in weapons. Contrary to the trade that Europe and America is conducting with Israel every day to the tune of weapons of mass destruction such as white phosphorus and other weapons that are used against the civilian population, we will not be trading in any weapons at all, much less weapons of mass destruction. So the accusation that we would be a threat to anyone's security is a false one. It's a lie. We will not jeopardize the safety. In fact, we will increase the safety of the region by providing the Palestinian people with an opportunity to live a dignified life. It is important to note that although this is the Samuni Intertrade Palestine mission, this is not for the Palestinians or the Samunis alone. In fact, the Samunis and their story is extremely powerful. The Samuni family will be with us on our way into Gaza with the import items and importantly, the Samuni family will be with us as we load up our trucks and exit. So, if anyone interferes with us, they will stop the Samuni family and the Palestinian people in general from exercising the right of self-determination. 
we urge the Egyptian people who have relegated themselves to a position of shame over the last several years and then risen up now to find pride to rise up and make sure that your government honors your wishes and allows the Palestinian people to exercise their inherent rights. It's up to you as well as us and together we shall make it so.